Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of First 30. I'm Greg and with me today is my good friend Adam. Yeah, good to be here. Hey man. So this is going to be uh, an episode based on the game The Surge. So this game came out last week and it's a little interesting. This game is really hard to find physically in stores. So we're playing it on the PS4 and we went to Best Buy to go get it. We couldn't find it. I went online to order it. It had to be shipped to store. And when I talked to my friends at GameStop, they said they only got enough to cover pre-orders. So it's actually a really limited game. Um, I actually call this game Clunky Souls 2 <laughs> as reference to uh, it being made by the same people that made Lords of the Fallen, which I refer to as Clunky Souls. <laughs> so going forward, if you hear me call this Clunky Souls 2, it's, yeah, we're just talking about this game. So so, so who uh, who made it, Greg? Who put it out? Uh, I don't remember. What was the name of the company? Focus Entertainment or Focus something Focus Home like Entertainment, I think. Is yeah, something called? like that. So yeah. uh, basically... Yeah, I don't know. These guys are okay. They're not bad. Lords of the Fallen was a very decent game. It just struggled a little bit, and it was trying to be too much like Dark Souls. So I think it'll be okay. Um, so basically, let's see here. Um, I'm going to start the timer because I actually normally have that prepped, and I totally forgot. And timer has begun. And here's the first 30 minutes of The Surge. So if you haven't watched the first 30 before, all you have to know is that I literally play the first 30 minutes of the game as it would be. So if you look at this and you say, hey, it's really boring and stupid, you should do more than just the first 30 minutes. Well, this is an idea of what the actual first 30 minutes are. So it gives you a little bit of a taste. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. See if you like it. You know, you want to waste your money. Games are so expensive nowadays anyway. Yeah, exactly. So it looks like... And you can feel free to talk a little bit louder, Adam. Oh, um, sorry. No problem. Um, so yeah, it looks like there's a story. Basically, the world sucks, you know. We, we destroyed it, you know. Duh, um, and uh, <laughs> so so now we're just watching a bunch of rockets go into space. All right, so they're launching shields that apparently heal the Earth. Looks like the endo suits have kind of a. What is it? Uh, day of, day after tomorrow, or what's the? Uh, oh God, now I can't remember the name. Uh, it's the uh, the Tom Cruise movie. Uh, right, Edge or, of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. Edge yeah, of Tomorrow. Edge of tomorrow. It, where they you know have those endos, endoskeleton suits and everything like that. Yeah, 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 it does. And it also, what was that movie by the guy that did uh, District Nine? Oh yeah, Elysium. With, uh, yeah, yeah, Elysium. Elysium. So it's kind of, if, it has like a little bit of a feel of that aesthetic, a little bit. It's really tough playing this because I, I just want to skip past all this crap and get to the gameplay, but I know that part of this game is, you know. So to go along with what we were saying earlier, so made by the people that made Lords of the Fallen, uh, and it's probably going to be really difficult. And what I always said about that game as opposed to Dark Souls is that it was really difficult, but not as fair as Dark Souls. So this game might throw me into a frenzy if it's unfair and unforgiving, <laughs> which is kind of why Adam wanted to be here today. Oh, I love watching Greg Rage at games. Because he, he sometimes watches me get very upset. Uh, that's great. And it's hilarious. It's almost as better as the, the game itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can hit square to do something. Oh, to like look around. Oh, I can watch a rocket go off. That's pretty cool. I like the color scheme already, though. You can look around. Look inverted. I don't think I want to do that. Ugh. No. No, no, thanks. I hate inverted look. It has a very, um, like, movie-like presentation. So they're definitely trying to pitch this as something like that. All right. Oh shit! I, I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. I, no, I, it's. I think that's kind of the. Uh, oh, this is kind of. Wee. And then. All right. I'm sorry. That's inappropriate. All right. This is the whole game, folks. This, <laughs> this is probably gonna be more fun than the actual game is. All right. Give me my suit, you jabronis. Hey guys, did you ever see something like this before? The first 30 minutes of wheelchair action. 
All right, job. I gotta hit job registration. What's the what button makes you boost? Where's the turbo in this thing? We're actually playing Rocket League. This is the new expansion. <laughs> like jamming on square <laughs> to try to go fast. Wow, nice save. Where's what, what, what a save? save? What a save? What a save. <laughs> wow. Where's the, yeah? Where's the turbo button? Where's the jump button? All right. This is really slow. Oh yeah. Oh man. Where's the stairs? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that have been great <laughs> if it was stairs? Oh come on, go faster! Come on. No, he's as I'm going forward, he's pushing the wheels. This should like I should be going faster. Oh well. All right. Where's the job center? Those guys look great though. Yeah, that are that. Those mechs really or whatever. Or, no, that's actually in a suit. That's there, awesome. Said. Oh my god, this is really slow. It's stupid. It's action packed. <laughs> like I get what they're trying to go for. I shouldn't make fun of it because I know they're trying to give you like this. It's different. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, Rhino. Oh, sweet. Heavy. Ca okay, so you get to actually pick how you want to be. So a little more agile. A field technician. Uh, I'm more of a brake stuff kind of guy. Heavy operator. Yeah, give me that. Actually, is that true? Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right, I'm applying to be a heavy operator, a rhino. All right, we're already seven minutes in. Well, not technically, seven minutes of audio recording. So we're six minutes in to the game, and we haven't played anything yet. This happens sometimes on this series. I like the, the design aesthetic so far, though. Mm-hmm. Good animations. This is cool. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn. <laughs> they would take your clothes off? They just trash your clothes? Yeah, I guess so. They forgot to tell them about that part, I guess. They said the patient was sedated. What kind of sedation <laughs> were they using? It's clearly not working. This is the clothes that you'll be in for the rest of your life. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I feel as though that's something that should have been taken care of in the sedation process. Yeah. Do you think that was a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> like someone just forgot to put it in the tube? I guess so. They put the pain. Ju they forgot to put the pain juice in the tube. It is the sort of apocalyptic thing. <laughs> There's no sedation in the future. So, wait, so is this right after, or did I miss something? I looked away for like a second. It didn't. It. Oh. Hey, you can walk again. I'm already missing my wheels. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so tech enemies. That's how you block. Now, all right, I'm gonna whap you. All right. Give me those tech scraps. So, are the, are the tech scraps like the souls? Uh, in this one I don't know. Or? Actually, that's a good question. Um, yep, yeah, there's a stamina meter. Yeah. Okay. X to dodge. Oh, damn. All right. Well, it controls much better than Clunky Souls did. How do you compare it so far to the actual Dark Souls franchise? Uh, as far as eh. movement goes. 
it's hard because it's such a different aesthetic and it's hard to put comparisons on them right now okay click in hold l1 to block attacks yeah Because this doesn't have that generic dark fantasy vibe to it, I might actually get all the way through this game. So I'm confused what happened. Did I accidentally hit a button and skip something? I don't think so. Alright, what do we pick up here? New implant. It said something about your backpack before, if you go out. Let's see here. Right there. All right, no head armor, no right armor. Oh. Okay, implants. Cool. So this could be like your bonfire, the med bay. Okay. So this would be like where you'd level up implants and stuff. Yeah, it must be where you upgrade your rig or something. Okay. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I don't know. She's just saying a bunch of stuff. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best thing to do here would be just to kill some more stuff. Yeah, I want to see some dismembering. I can hit two guys at once. This guy's got some dicks on him. Whoosh! Get clubbed, you nerd. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Alright. Use exolifts to reach other areas. Oh! That's kind of neat. Small pile of rare material scrap, okay. Is that, that it? That looks like it. Hmm. Alright. Let's find some more stuff to kill. Uh, the control's really good. I think it, it's a neat environment and uh, the graphics are good. And Oh, oh here, here we, we go. go. Alright, now we're talking. Oh, you have to pick, like... Oh, you can target certain parts of their body. All right. That was kind of neat. So so you'd lock onto him and... Oh, shit, he's on fire. <laughs> that seems a what bit What did excessive. you do? Jeez. I just, I just bashed his head in with a stick. <laughs> Didn't expect him his, to start on fire. His head is very flammable. We all know how the heads are. Oh, watch this. I'm going to hit his leg. <laughs> I'm 
Open a weapon legend. Pyaw! So I, I like that. Is it difficult to select from the different parts of the body? Nope. You just use the right analog stick. So you just kind of, once you're locked on, you just flick back and forth. It's really easy, actually. Oh, shit. It's hard to see their health and stuff. Like, I know it's, like, right there, but... All right. Hmm. They do start on fire for no reason. I don't know what's going on with that. It's a little weird. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, okay. My power, okay. Message received. So now we have to go all the way back. Okay, it's just hanging out there. I like that you hit them out of their animation. Yeah, it's it's different. It's different enough um, from you know, like a Souls type game, it doesn't feel like that, which I like. Because I was worried that it was just going to be like a clone of that, but futuristic, and it's not. It's good. I like it so far. <clears throat> now I get to run all the way back over here. I can't imagine anybody's died yet. Wait, where was the med bay? Was it? Oh, yeah, I was inside this building up here. It just says hello. Don't talk. Don't talk to me, robot. <laughs> I'm not here to amuse you. All right. Let's see here. We got us some new implants, y'all. Oh no! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh my god, just just let me do it. So this is kind of like your leveling, I'm assuming? Looks like it. Bank tech scrap? I don't even know what that means either. My rig. Hmm. Rhino leg gear schematic unlocked. Okay, so you make arm. your own parts and stuff. Uh, new gears can be crafted from schematics by holding X when all the comp components are available. Okay, well, I don't have everything I need, so I can't make them, but that's cool. I'm assuming that's how you get different looks and stuff like that on mm -hmm. your on your exosuit. I saw some really cool ones online. get clubbed on so it respawned all the enemies when I went to a med base so that's a thing well you use the uh, it's kind of like yeah you're right it is like the the, um, oh, the bonfires oh, right oh, oh <laughs> damn <laughs> so there's like finishing moves when you stun a guy that's awesome that's cool <laughs> and he starts on fire Oh, damn it. I want to get another one on this guy. To fire with you. Okay. Oh, Jesus.
Woo! Oh, here we go. That was close. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, now it's getting serious. Game's not messing around anymore. Jaw! Oh, yeah. Oh, bullsh stuff. Ooh, oh, fucking... I kicked a soul right out of him. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Pick up his head. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> Let's kick the soul right out of him. <laughs> <laughs> the more damage a body part receives, the more likely it will be cut. Okay. So I could just beat. I could just whip on somebody's legs. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh boy. Come on. Oh, oh yeah, right in half. <laughs> okay, he's, so that's definitely he's, the dismemberments are he's definitely just, cool. He's just taking a nap. He's okay. What kind of secrets this game has? Okay, can't go in there yet. Damage and cut weapons and armored body parts to get new equipment. Oh, oh, I died. Oh. <laughs> no vital signs Damn, that, found. That happened quick. Yeah, I wasn't really watching my health. Let's see, we start at the med bay. Yep. Was it over here? No, it was... Oh, you will drop any tech scrap you are carrying. So, yeah, there's your... Oh, see you later. Yeah, get out of here, you stupid robot. Oh, okay, so you have weapon proficiencies that go up, too. That's cool. Um, attack unarmored body parts. Okay, yeah, I know that. Oh, Jesus. Getting hit by frickin' nonsense. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Dismemberments are they're, they're smooth, too. They work good. Oh, the other guy's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's party time. Oh, was not expecting that. Move. Oh, okay, so the only thing that sucks is normally in a Souls game, you use the right analog stick to switch targets, and here you use it to switch body parts on one target, so I don't know how uh, to switch targets. Jesus oh. Christ. Here we go. What the hell did he hit me with? He didn't hit me with anything. This game's being mental right now. All right, well, I'm out of heal items already. <laughs> yeah, nice try, dick. Pyaw! Kick the soul out again. <laughs> What okay. the hell happened there? Oh, yeah, I, I don't weird. even understand what that was. <laughs> he, just, he died <laughs> standing up. What the hell was that? <laughs> Alright, where's this other shit ass? Oh, 
another one? Oh, you got your tech scrap back. This guy's armored everywhere. Oh, there we go. Let's come stamina back here. Oh, see ya. <laughs> took his arm off and then took something else off. Okay, so I got my tech scraps back. That's good. You got a new weapon. <clears throat> See, this guy's armored everywhere. I got a new weapon, too? I believe that's what that was. It's a new weapon acquired. I don't know if it's one that you can create, or... That, like, big overhand is awesome. Douche! Pyaw! Kicking the soul right out of you. Right. <laughs> well, that hasn't gotten old yet. That is really cool. I'll take a quick look here and see where we're at. Got about four minutes left in this first 30 already. That was quick. All right, let's check out this. We got a new weapon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, it's <laughs> it is clunky, my dude. What if you can do behind the back stealth kills? Let's see, let's get real close. <laughs> oh yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. Did that happen? He fell over. He fell like he fell down or something, yeah. Oh, here's a good one. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that wasn't that good. He's got no unarmored parts. These, the, the way these weapons move is very strange. Boom! See ya! He doesn't need that anymore. <laughs> Seems to have a bit of a longer reach, too, than your previous one. Nice. Oh, see ya! I still like how they just start on fire when they die. <laughs> it's still my favorite thing so far. <laughs> oh, he got oh, me good. Yeah. I was not got ready for good, that. you good, you fucker. Oh, cool. That was, <laughs> that was a new one. <laughs> I think it uh, what you dismember changes on what you um what part of the body you attack. I think that's true and I think it also depends on your distance too. Yeah. I didn't even get to so execute him. I just smoked him. Smoked him old old style. <laughs> <laughs> Overcharge. I could probably get through there. There's a dude over here I got to murder still. I was back. Is that right? Oh. Where was his bad part? Did it say booty? I think it said <laughs> booty. Well, that was cool. I'm going to send his ass right through here. Anyway. Somebody worked really hard storing those extra boxes. <laughs> what was that? 
Somebody worked really hard storing those empty boxes. <laughs> you just ruined that. Oh, oh uh, hey, how's it going? Just hanging out in the bush there. He's Sh taking a shit. Sean Spicer, everyone. <laughs> All right, so I guess overall, this game's pretty cool. I'll probably finish this. Yeah, it looks neat. Like, the potential of different things that you can do with the the suit and stuff look great. Yeah, the uh, um, like the upgrades and everything, the customization, I think, are really going to set this game apart. Let's see. That and kicking people in the chest. That, that and kicking people's ghost spirit out of them. All right, let's see. All right. And that is it. That is the first 30 minutes from the very start of the game of The Surge. So I think officially I have to stop calling it Clunky Souls because the controls are pretty good on that, actually. I don't have a problem with that. It's not Dank Surge. It's... It's not it's not Danky Surge. <laughs> it's um it's pretty awesome. Uh, I like this game. Uh, is it worth buying right now? If you like a Souls type game, but you want a different aesthetic, and a different style game with leveling up and different types of weapons and different animations, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and it might be hard to find for a bit, kind of like Neo was for a little while, where it, it, they didn't make a lot of copies because they weren't sure how successful it's going to be. But eh, let's help these guys out. It seems like they've done good. I haven't gotten to a boss fight sadly. It'd have been really cool to get to one of those. Um, I mean, I'll get to because I'll keep playing, but you guys watching won't be able to. Uh, but anywho, that's uh, that's it. That's the first 30 minutes. I appreciate you guys watching. Say goodbye, Adam. Yeah, later. And we appreciate you guys listening.